Drew Talks, do a top recall box build video. Okay, here you go. Recall box, very similar to RetroPie, another front end for the Raspberry Pi. And uh, it's definitely got some pros and cons, but uh, this is gonna be my top build video, so some of my favorites. A lot of these are recently released, so they're on the newest version of Recall Box, which had some cool uh, advanced emulator support. There's also some cool things you can do with the themes now. However, it will only work for the Raspberry Pi 3B 1.2 gigahertz, or the Pi Zero potentially, uh, depending on the build, but it will not work for the Raspberry 3B Plus. Another thing about Recall Box is it does not support video snaps, so it's going to be box art, JPEGs, and things like that. Some people love that. Some people like the video snaps. It's not a huge deal, but some really cool things about Recall Box is, uh, to me, you could do a lot more with the controller than you can with RetroPie. You don't need a, a keyboard setup. The other thing is I love that on Recall Box, if you hit the start button, you get pretty much everything. Kodi access, uh, easy overclock access, uh, advanced emulator and scan lines access. Uh, additionally, when you plug in a controller, it automatically prompts you to set up those controls. Lastly, the PSP Dreamcast PlayStation Nintendo 64 performance on the Raspberry Pi 3B, I find is better, superior emulation on the recall box stock, in my opinion. So with all that said, recall box has a lot, a lot of cool things, but it also has some downsides as, as well. But this is a recall box video, so we're gonna keep talking good about it. And here is my top five builds for recall box. In number five, we have the recall box recall fight 64 gigabyte image. <laughs> The reason why this one got number five is it's a beautiful image. This was totally made from scratch. It was a Cat Productions, which we're gonna see a couple of these with the themes coming from Cat Productions and Mike Oz. Now it has Mega Drive, it has 32X, it has Nintendo 64, PSP, Dreamcast, but all the games on here are fighting games. So for example, on Sega CD, you're only getting eight of those games that are fighting games like Primal Rage and Mortal Kombat. Same with 32X, Dreamcast, NES, Atari. So yes, it has over 15 systems, but all the games are related to fighting games. You're gonna notice we have fighting bezels, fighting launch screens, a fighting uh, splash screen. So the whole thing is really nice. This is a little bit older of an image, about three, four months old. So it is on a previous version of Recall Box but it's still gonna work great for your Raspberry Pi 3. Do know it does come pre-overclocked, but not super overclocked, and the way it's set up to start, it's gonna play all these games you're seeing just fine. So if you're looking for a fighting-based system for a bar top or your home arcade or the TV, this is a great one. And that's why I want to showcase this one, because it's a purpose-built image, it's beautiful, well-running, and uh, it's definitely one to have in your collection. In number four, Mini Cake TV Avengers Recall Box Build. All right, Avengers Infinity War just in time so this particular guy mini kick tv also made like a jarvis build and a couple other builds related to marvel characters and superheroes but this is his most recent release it was released actually this month in may so it's a new version of recall box it has over eight thousand games so unlike the previous build where it's just fighter games this although has favorited games for all the marvel stuff you still get all the other games as well so it's more of a comprehensive image in that regard but at the end of the day it is avenger based you could definitely change the theme and and kind of build it your own way if you like but it comes stock out the gate as an adventure build with all the Avenger games like Spider-Man, Iron Man, uh, Captain America, all that stuff is favorited already for you. So if you're an Avengers fan, this might be your go-to image. If you're not an Avengers fan, you can definitely take this image and edit it out a little bit. Uh, but it is a new version of Recall Box. It does have a huge, huge collection, even computer games, handhelds, consoles. 
Um, so for those reasons, it's really nice. The other thing is it's a 32 gigabyte and it's way underneath that space limit. So it's a fairly inexpensive image to get started with. Also do note that it does not come stock in English. You do have to change the language when you boot up, but once you do, it should be all good to go. For all those reasons, it's in number four. In number three, Galistio. He has a 64 gigabyte and 128 gigabyte. I mean, the 128 to me is a little bit better, but if you only have a 64 gigabyte, it's definitely one to go for as well. Now, something about this image is it's just totally loaded. It's a cool custom theme. It's got custom music. When you change systems like this, there's a different song that plays, but you can easily turn that off as well. Um, easy overclock and just a massive, massive collection. This particular image has also gotten on my top uh, 128 gigabyte image videos in the past. Now, there is two versions of this image out there. There's two versions on the 64 and two versions of the 128. I'm gonna link you to the, to the most recent build. The more recent build has the updated recall box and some fixes done to it. Now, something that people don't like about this image is there are some games in Portuguese. For example, the Scum VM, the Metadata, and Cave Story, to name a few. So, some people try to avoid this one because of that. But once you change the main language on the recall box front end, a lot of the games are still in English. I would say 90% of them. Um, but overall, it's a well-built recall box image with just a ton, a ton, a ton of stuff loaded on it. There are no bezels. It should uh, be stretched out full screen gameplay. And uh, like I said, it's just, it's just a well-built all-around image. Over 30 plus systems, everything from consoles, handhelds, computer-based system, it's got a ton. Even hack games on this build. Lastly, if you are gonna get this image, I made a video on how to write this file because unfortunately, Galistio made him a .bin file, which I don't know what the reasoning for that is, but I know that the community is used to a .img file. So it is a little bit different, but it can be done. You just need a USB to micro USB. SD adapter and uh, I show you how to do that, how to change the language all in another video which I will link to as well. In number two, we have Mike Oz dropping the legendary, also known as the Godzilla image. Um, it was titled the legendary image, but I've seen the .img file will say Godzilla in the title. So in case you're confused, it also does come with that Godzilla splash screen, which is actually pretty cool and runs pretty well in the pie. But once you get into this theme, it does have like four or five uh, different themes on it and as you see I'm, I'm showing you one with the track mode it's got some really cool adjustability within recall box so as much as you think it's a Godzilla image you could definitely make it your own and that's why I'm rating it so high is although it comes very geared toward Godzilla you could totally change it very quickly now there are a few titles in French uh, that you have to change but that's about it. That's why I didn't get a perfect A, is again, it's one of these images that's starting out non-English, but just very, very easy to get it uh, converted over. It is 128 gigabyte, and as you see, just a ton of systems, a bunch of consoles, handhelds, uh, um, portables, you name it. This thing's got it fully loaded. As I mentioned, with Recallbox, you know, it does have Dreamcast, it does have Nintendo 64, and those games run beautifully. Now, something is it does have bezels, it does have that Godzilla bezel on there, and you can definitely change that out. But in addition to that, it comes with hack games, it comes with like Nintendo 64, MSU. So there's a lot of obscure things or some retro games that a lot of people really like. Um, that are included on this. Uh, furthermore, this is the 128 gigabyte version. The way he released his images was he started with a 32 Godzilla, then he got a 64 gigabyte Godzilla, and then he released the Legendary. Now, the Legendary to me is the best because it's 
the expansion of the starting point. But if you don't have a 128 gigabyte SD card and you like this kind of style, you like the splash screen, you like the loading screens, everything else, then you have the option to go for the 32 or the 64 gigabyte version. So you have some options here. So overall, I really like this. He did a really good job on this. It's definitely uh, a recall box image. I want to spend a little bit more time. I actually haven't spent that much time on this one. I'm sure I'll be live streaming it soon. And uh, for all those reasons, it's it should be on your list of considerations for a great, great recall box image. In number one, Emolga 32 gigabyte silver image. Wow, 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 wow. I said that when I made the original video. I'm still saying that now. A 32 gigabyte image with over 13,000 titles in it. And uh, it has four or five different themes. Everything is optimized. Everything is working well. Everything from the arcade sets to the consoles. This thing has it. It's a beautiful, beautiful image, and it would be a great starting point for me. You know, the only downside I could see to it is that it is only 32, but you can expand your file system and add some more games. But for a 32, this thing is fully loaded and packed. Um, they did a really good job on it. This is a second iteration. Their first image uh, was released, I believe, you know, a while ago, you know, four or five months ago. And th this one was just released a couple months ago and is a uh, reiteration of that. They have a huge team of people, huge meaning more than one. <laughs> it's uh, I think they got like seven or eight people working on this image. So different aspects of it from the bezels to the front end to the actual emulation performance. They've got people working on those types of things. As far as content, yes, it has the majority of all those systems. They're optimized. They're working. You're also going to be able to get those hack games as well. So as far as a comprehensive content, collection it's very comprehensive it has all the nes all the snes all the um, sega mega drive the majority of the sega cds all that stuff 32x is on here working great so for all those reasons this is definitely an image to check out any of these five would be a great fit for you it's really hard to to distinguish and crown one as better than the other um, as you see there's pros and cons to each some could do things that others can't and uh, really at the end of the day it comes down to you and what you're looking for I think between all these, whether you're doing it on a bar top, a computer, a big screen TV, this should help you out with your decision. If you're interested in any of these images, a lot of these people have Discord channels or you can also oftentimes find this on Arcade Punks and some other outlets. I will also leave links in the description to the longer reviews on any of these images as well as other information or questions you might have regarding a particular image in this video. If you could, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and we'll catch you on the next one.